In this video, I take my CR125 and I race it in the Open Pro class and I let the whole pack go. And I'm gonna give you the breakdown on what was going on in my head while I went from last to first place. If you guys wanna see a super gnarly crash of me in practice, we got a little bonus at the end of this video, so make sure you stick to the end and I'm gonna walk you through that crash and how I got through this race day. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, I'm not too focused on the start here because I'm gonna let everyone go. Um, the first moto, I did win, and I kind of want to challenge myself. I'm on a 125. Most of the riders are either on 250s or 450s. Uh, so what was going through my head at this point was I'm just trying to lay up a little bit and understand the riders. Right? I think this is very important for you guys at home is to not rush the first lap. There are some scenarios when the competition is really steep and really tight where you have to make a lot of passes the first lap. There we go. I kind of cut that guy off, knew, and that guy messed up on the inside there. So I got a couple people right in the first part of the corner. Um, I was definitely struggling with losing a little momentum um, down the straightaways. My bike just wasn't as fast, so I've been trying to, I was trying to kind of make it up as we were going through the corners to create that straightaway speed. So here I'm kind of deciding if I can pass this guy right here. I don't want to take him out, of course, and he kind of backed off, so I got by him there. Uh, Roost was not, not super friendly there, uh, but it wasn't also it wasn't too horrible. So I'm going to cut down to the left here, and then I'm going to come back to the right of him, stay out of his roost. Right, I'm going to follow him around the outside. I, actually, I cut in here. Okay, nice. Um, and kind of made that pass. I'm going to roll around the outside here and see if I can just outpower him around the outside, and that worked out. So that was like the few 250 guys, and I think we're rolling up on a, a few 450s now, so it's getting a little more challenging. Uh, a couple things to think about is that this, this track is uh, pretty good for a 125 because it's so many bowl berms, right? So, you know, 450 is awesome. And I think it's, it's got its place for, you know, a select few people, but it's definitely not as big of an advantage on a track with a bunch of bull berms, right? And so I can keep my momentum up. Looks like I'm rolling up on these guys. We're getting to the, I would say, just faster, more experienced guys in this pack. So I'm kind of just gauging their lines. Are they all going outside? Because I need those outsides to carry the momentum. So we got outside here, and so it's a drag race. This guy on my left is on a 250. You can see that I'm gaining on him, but then right there, he just kind of can maintain speed with me. He's right there beside me, but I kind of just push wide to force him to shut down. And then I'm into second place here. And this is actually the owner of the track, uh, Mr. Murphy. He's, uh, he's a fantastic rider, actually. He's, he's got to be, you know, mid-40s. I don't want to, no, no, no disrespect, but he, he rips for mid-40s. And so uh, I'm kind of coming up on him and using that same inside to outside, trying to get, get out of that roost. And then I'm going to come to the inside right here, and he kind of just gives it to me. I'm not going to lie, he just kind of lets me have it. I float to the middle of the track there, and then I start covering my insides immediately. And for you guys at home, uh, you know, you can use the outsides to create that straightaway speed, and then you need to start covering your insides when you have everyone behind you because they're going to be trying to make passes back. Um, this, this, I'll, I'll kind of give you guys a little more voiceover for a whole lap here and kind of let you know. At this point, I'm kind of sprinting away, right? Like, I want to create a gap now. I don't want that rider to be able to catch up to me and be able to make a move. So I made all my passes in the first couple laps there, and now I'm going to put the hammer down, right, and try to create a two to three second gap. That way, if I make a mistake, I dab a foot or I, uh, you know, stall the bike, whatever, whatever it may be, I may have a chance of getting it going and still winning the race. So again, I'm outsides, um, outside here, down this straightaway. I'm kind of just trying to keep as much speed. You can see me scrubbing. Um, track's fairly smooth, so it wasn't, uh, you know, stressing me out too bad. But again, this is like my second race back in, in, in quite some time. Uh, first race on moto. I did a woods race prior to this. But um, so, yeah, using all the berm for you kids at home. You know, you don't want to come in the middle of these berms and square off. You want to use every little ounce of berm that you can and you can see how I'm just grazing the edge of the track trying to straighten this thing out see so using the beginning of the berm there right and then I'm gonna swing out wide to the left and then I'm gonna angle back to the right to go back to the inside using the full track go out here kind of stay to the right because I know my next turn is a left hand turn so I'm gonna fade into the left right so I'm opening that track up making it the turns as wide as possible hitting all the points of the berms so yeah this is uh this is it I won't bore you guys with any more laps just kind of want to walk you through that that was a first to, or a last to first on a 125 i did go on to win this race a couple laps later here all right so here's the deal here's what happened you're gonna notice this, this man on the side of the track up here cheering me on right i was feeling good already 
This guy right here to our right, right here to our right, got me all hopped up. And I hit this corner at Mach 90. I scrub super hard and I look back at him, okay? When I look back at him, I lost sight of what was in front of me, obviously, and I was more sideways than I thought. Not only that, I scrubbed so hard that I didn't get the bike back straight and case the jump. So, a couple things there. Don't look back when you're scrubbing on a really tiny jump. Don't showboat. And also, get up fast if you're not hurt and get out of the way. Sometimes just getting up and getting back on the track, my leg was hurting, right? I knew my leg wasn't broken, but it was hurting, right? And I'm like, well, I just gotta get and finish this practice to make sure that I keep the blood flowing and uh, just kind of limped around all day and got the race handled. But yeah, it was sore and bruised for about a week and a half, two weeks, and uh, feeling good now. Mentally, you gotta come back from the crash. You, you just have to put it behind you. I think that's the metaphor to life too, is that we're gonna have bumps in the road. Uh, the creek's gonna let the rock show and sometimes you're gonna run into them and uh, you just gotta kinda go, go with the flow, you know? Go around the rock after you hit it and if nothing's catastrophic, you just got to keep pushing forward, get your mindset out of what happened, put your mindset in what's going to happen and what's happening in the present moment. And that's always worked for me with racing and kind of getting through those hard times. Have you ever crashed, got up and thought, wow, that was stupid. What I did was dumb. The answer to that is maybe it wasn't the choice that you made was dumb, it's the technique that you don't have is leading to those bad decisions. So we've created a technique masterclass that is built with drills and layers to give you the perfect foundation to be able to build off of to make you safer and faster. If you would like to join that class, it's live. The link in the description, you can just click down there. It's gonna take you through over 30 drills and it's something that can make your riding better forever.